Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle S-Base. What's new in S-Base 11.124? In version 11.124, we saw enhancements to hybrid aggregation. Time balance functionality in hybrid aggregation applications is now supported. Dynamic time series members are also now supported. Many calculator functions are now supported in 11.124. And of course, if a function is not supported by hybrid aggregation, SBase will default to the block storage method of execution for that formula. To implement hybrid aggregation, we add a parameter to the SBase configuration file to turn the feature on. That parameter is ASO dynamic ag in BSO. Next, we mark the upper level members of our sparse dimensions that calculate with outline operators as dynamic calc instead of store data. You also may need to change your dimension order and or sparse dense settings of the S-Base outline to ensure member formulas are calculated correctly. We have three different hybrid aggregation levels. The ASO dynamic ag in BSO configuration setting has three levels, none, partial, and full. The ASO dynamic ag in BSO configuration function can be applied at the server level or to specific applications. To apply a none value to the server level, we would put in ASO dynamic ag in BSO none. For a partial aggregation on the sample database, we type in ASO dynamic ag in BSO sample partial. And to apply full hybrid aggregation to the demo application, we would enter ASO dynamic ag in BSO demo full. The partial hybrid aggregation command turns on dynamic aggregation for simple outline operators. Those are the plus, minus, and tilde operators. Partial hybrid aggregation does not dynamically aggregate member formulas. Member formulas and more complex outline operators, such as the multiplication, division, and percentage operators are calculated using the block storage mode. The full hybrid aggregation command turns on dynamic aggregation for all outline operators. Addition, subtraction, ignore, multiplication, division, and percentage. Full hybrid aggregation dynamically aggregates member formulas as well. All but 44 calculator functions are now supported for dynamic aggregation in version 11.124. Unsupported formulas and calculator functions are executed in block storage mode. There's a new S-Base configuration setting called worker threads. This setting controls how many threads are available for parallel calculation with either calc parallel or fix parallel, parallel data loads for aggregate storage and block storage databases, parallel exports for block storage databases, and parallel restructures. The default setting of worker threads is half of the server thread setting. Our default server thread setting is 20, making our default worker thread setting 10. The minimum value for the worker thread setting is 5, and the maximum value is 2048. Another new feature in SBase 11.124 is XML outline editing. By using the Java or C main API, XML files may be exported from an SBase database outline. These XMLs can be edited outside of SBase administration services and then uploaded using the Java or C API to make changes to the SBase OTL or outline file. This method of outline editing requires no dimension build rules file or calls to the outline API. Version 11.124 also includes some Exolytix optimizations. These optimizations added some additional tuning to increase performance on Exolytix servers. On an Exolytix server, you will see increased virtual memory usage by the size of the page files. What this does is move more S-based data into memory for better performance during calculations and retrievals. Version 11.124 also includes some calculation enhancements. There's a new calculator function, relative X range. This function returns a cross-dimensional list based on the relative position of the cell that is currently being calculated and some offsets. Version 11.124 also includes more support for the X range list parameter. The X range list is now supported in 27 functions. An X range list logically combines members at the same level from two or more dimensions. This helps to transverse separate year and period dimensions as if they were one continuous list of members. We create an X range list using the at X range function. If we enter at X range, actual cross dimension January and budget cross dimension March, 
That gives us a list of actual members January through December, as well as budget members January, February, and March. SBase is then able to loop through that list as if it was one continuous list of members. Also in 11124, we have some SBase configuration changes. The worker threads function that we talked about earlier defines the number of threads available for parallel operations. There's a new crash dump location configuration setting. When this setting is enabled, it provides a location where core dump files should be saved. Core dumps are new to 11.124 and differ from an exception file, the XCP that you may be used to. There are also two new functions for SQL connections. Connection timeout provides a maximum time SBase should wait for a SQL connection before timing out. And query timeout, which is the maximum time SBase should wait for a SQL query before timing out. In 11.124, we also have a Maxell grammar change. The export database function now offers an anonymous export option. To use this, we would type in export database, our database name, all data, anonymous. This allows customers with sensitive data the ability to provide copies of their data files to Oracle support or partners like Interrel without the fear of data disclosure. Each cell in the block is replaced with an iterated number. As we see on this example, each cell in the block that had data, starting with zero, iterates until the block is full. Then the numbering system continues with the next block. Any cells that are pound missing remain pound missing. The number only overwrites cells that have data in your current application. In 11.124, there are also some features that are no longer supported. S-based native security mode is no longer supported. This is the non-shared services mode of security that is managed in EAS. Pre-System 9 customers would have used this to administer users and groups. This is not the shared services native users or groups. S-Base integration services is also no longer supported. The same functionality for creating S-Base cubes from relational databases is available using S-Base Studio. Also no longer supported is the Visual Basic API for S-Base. As Visual Basic is no longer supported from Microsoft, Oracle recommends using the Java APIs or the SBase-C APIs. There are also some SBase configuration settings that are no longer supported. The preload alias namespace, preload member namespace, preload UDA namespace, max active update transactions, and max total active transactions are no longer supported. If these settings are listed in your SBase configuration file, it is recommended to remove them. 11.124 also has features that are deprecated. Deprecated features are supported in this release. However, they are slated to be removed from future releases. Features deprecated in version 11.124 include direct I.O., block storage outline synchronization, the outline change log, currency conversion applications and currency partitions, the Zlib and none data compression types, linked partitions, the S-Base Administration Services Java API, the network file system protocol on NAS devices, and the following Maxell statements. The alter user statement to add groups and remove users from groups. The alter user statement to add a user to a group or to remove a user from a group. The create group and or user statements. The display group and or user statements. And the drop group and or user statements. Except the from security file grammar. These functions are replaced by the Shared Services API functionality.